Let's start by working with these words. First, we will draw the letter M. Start with drawing a rectangle. Scale it down a bit. Then make a copy, we'll need that later. Now, create another copy and reduce its width and height a bit. Rotate as shown. Select both and align to left, you can use the letter L in your keyboard, move it up and scale a bit. Now make a copy and mirror. Move to the right as shown. Make a copy from the main rectangle to the right. Select these two and align to the right. You can use the letter R in your keyboard. Now, bring back the one we set aside earlier. It will be the letter I. Now select first two rectangles. Make a copy to start creating the letter N. Create the other side. Select two point line tool. Use snap option to draw a line over the left edge Scale it to cross the right rectangle. Move this rectangle to the left a bit. Now make another copy to create the letter D. Duplicate that smaller one. Rotate 90 degree. Select both and align to top left. You can use the letters L and T in your keyboard. Reduce the width from both sides as shown. Duplicate downward. Select both and align to bottom edge. You can use the letter B in your keyboard. Select both and copy the height value. Create a circle. Then paste the copied value into its size field. Drag from top nod and snap to rectangle corner. Go ahead and draw a line between those two rectangles. Then grab its height value for the next step. Now duplicate that circle and paste the value we copied right into its size field. Pick the virtual segment delete tool and clear out those extra lines. We are shaping the final form for our letters. Draw a line here to fix the M letter. Pick the Smart Fill tool and create all letters. Move the new shapes and delete all lines, we don't need them anymore. Move the letter I up. Copy the width value. Draw a circle then paste the copied value into its size field. Align with the letter. Now extend the rectangle up. Now we will cut the letter D. Select two-point line tool, draw a line starting from bottom left corner as shown. Extend it from bottom. Select Smart Fill tool, change color. Now create the new shape. Select the line and change its width. Create a copy to the right. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate all the way as shown. Hold Shift and select D, N and M letters. Create a copy upward. Go back to letter D. Duplicate the first line. Shift select the shape. Click back minus front. Delete this one. Right click, break curve. The D letter become two shapes as you see. Select first line, right click, power clip inside the right part of the letter. Do the same for second one.
Select all other lines. Hold Shift and deselect the shapes. Right click, power clip inside the right part of the letter. Click Edit. Delete the first one. Now select all and move a bit to left. Click Finish. Remove Fill Color. Now combine the top letters, increase line thickness, create another copy. Now go to Object. Convert Outline to Object. As you can see, the outline is now a separate object, delete the other one. Now, choose the second copy, make it a bit thicker. Create a copy, then repeat the process. Now, use the two-point line tool to draw a line across the word. Duplicate the line across the remaining words, adjusting the spacing just like you see. Now, select the line, shift and select the outline, click back minus front, then repeat the process for the remaining words. Right click, break cover part, delete the bottom part. Select the remaining shapes and combine together. Repeat the process for the remaining words. Once you're done, adjust their positions and bring them closer together. Just like this, select the primary letter shapes and update their color as desired. Now create a copy from the second word. Rotate 90 degree. Move to the middle of the eye shape. Edit it as you want. Right click, convert to curve. Align at the center. Select shape tool. Select all nods of the hash. Click scale nods. Stretch down. Edit its position. Draw a rectangle as shown. Right-click the word, break curve apart. Now select the rectangle, shift, select the letter R, weld. Now select all and combine together. Change color to white. Select the right part of the letter D, edit power clip, select all lines. Go to object, convert outline to curve. Change color to white. Now fill the circle with white. And those top shapes also. Change their color to white. Select all and remove outline. Finally, let's add a black background to complete the design. And there you have it, design done. You've just seen how a few simple steps in Corel Draw can transform into a stunning final result. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next Corel Draw tutorial.